We have a very special guest coming up with some information that you are going to be so excited about. Michael Seifert with Public Square. So welcome, Michael. Thanks for being on Financial Issues. I'm honored to be here. Thanks so much for the invite. <laughs> Great. Well, you know, here at the ministry, we do biblically responsible investing. And a lot of times I have to explain the difference between patronage and ownership. So we're focused on the ownership piece of it. When we own a stock or a mutual fund, we're, we have stewardship responsibility over that. So if we invest in a company that's then using God's money that we control to in to support causes like abortion, pornography, the LGBT agenda, then we are responsible for that and we're going to have to give an answer for it. So, so many times people confuse this with patronage. Well, you know, I can't use uh, Microsoft. I can't use Apple. I can't, I don't want to do Starbucks. I don't want to do all of these things. And those are great things. And I always tell people to follow that if the Lord's putting that conviction on your heart, but it's different than what we're doing. And really it's hard to do um, boycotts and things like that, but you're approaching this in a little bit different way. So tell me, what is Public Square? Well, thank you for asking. And I think your analysis is spot on. I think the problem for Christians, believers like myself, is when we do not heed the command of Proverbs 3.9 that says, honor God with your wealth. And honoring God with our wealth looks like analyzing what do we own exactly like you're describing it also looks like what do we spend our wealth on and what do we give to those are sort of the three components and so we really focus on the spend piece we so honor the people that are focusing on the own piece like you guys we so honor the people that are focusing on the giving side but public square publicsq.com was started to help people that love their country love their liberties as endowed by their creator and want to advance those values in the public square we create created this platform to help those people spend money in alignment with their values at businesses that have taken pledges to honor those values. So, for example, there are a lot of industries where you may feel like you don't have another option. Starbucks seems like the only one or Bank of America seems like the only one. What we discovered about 18 months ago is that there's actually a wide array of competitors to those entities that are patriotic as can be, are run by constitutionally minded Americans that love their country and about 90% of them love their God too. These are large majority Christian businesses in the banking, financial services, plumbing, electricity, restaurants, coffee shops, all these different industries, they just need to be exposed. They need to be seen for a market that will value them. And so what we did is we created the world's largest compilation of liberty-minded, freedom-loving businesses so that users, the community members on the platform, could connect with them and could spend their dollars in alignment with their values and shift the power structures of society back toward we the people with the power of their dollar. And it's been phenomenal so far. We have 30,000 different vendors on the platform. All these businesses are ones that you can feel proud of spending your money at so that you don't even have to worry about boycotting Instead, you could solely focus on what you're buying. You can look to the future with a positive mindset and actually shift your dollars in a hopeful way, not focusing more on what you're leaving behind, instead focusing on what you're spending towards. And that's really exciting. Wow, that is very exciting. And it sounds like Public Square is a great complement to what we do here at the ministry. You know, we're always talking about faith, family, finance. We're talking about stewardship, not only of money, but of this country and of our vote and, and being patriotic. Our founder, Dan Celia, was a, a very, very strong patriot, and we continue that tradition here. And, you know, you mentioned another thing is shifting your dollars. We talk about that a lot. We believe from Ephesians that we are engaged in a spiritual battle, one that we don't see around us. And, you know, money's not evil in itself. It's just a medium. And so it takes money to fund the kingdom of darkness. It takes money to fund the kingdom of light. So there's always this battle over money. Well, you know, small business is also the the backbone of our uh, economic system here. Small business is one of the largest employers, as but government government's growing very quickly. But still, small business is one of the uh, you know the biggest employers in our country. How can businesses use your service? Great question, and you're spot on. I think one of the thing that 
things that breaks our heart the most is the fact that small businesses are so often left behind in this move toward globalist tyranny where major multinational corporations are partnered with governments to advance political agendas. What often happens is that small businesses are stifled in the process. COVID was the perfect example of that. I think it's a grand crime against humanity that Amazon uh, so increased their market share and their presence while preaching about lockdowns that ended up putting small businesses out of business. So there are 32 million small businesses in the United States, and our goal is to help those business owners that feel like they've been left behind, help them have a voice again in the market. And so what we've done is allow for business owners to sign up completely for free. There's no charges. They head to publicsq.com, and right there you can click add your business for free, and that link will take you to a quick onboard process where a business can build their profile and then press submit, and they'll be amazed at how fast they're seeing actual traction and return and excitement from consumers that are values aligned and are driven to support them. We've heard stories of hair salons that increase their profits 500% in a month solely from being a part of the Public Square platform. We've heard of businesses connecting with other businesses in a B2B fashion, an office supplier in Alabama that had eight clients his first two weeks of joining the platform from Public Square all over the country. We've heard of clothing companies having their most successful e-commerce days ever after being on the platform. $30,000 in one day funneled through their e-commerce site. So the stories are endless, but it's very simple to get started. And our goal is that if we can connect these consumers with these businesses, that the businesses will ultimately experience not just a liberating market experience, but a profitable one as well. That's awesome. Well, I know you probably haven't ever even watched our show because uh, you didn't know about it when we met. But the things that you say are so equally yoked with what we talk about. We talk about the dangers of globalism all of the time. You know, the the political uh, environment that we have, the wokeism that's happening in corporate America, you know, and that's great if, you know, most people want to support their local businesses. They will um, they will try to shop local. There's all kind of campaigns. And you mentioned the e-commerce site. That's great, too. So you can even expand what you're doing there if you want to try to find a, an alternative to some of the things that you buy on Amazon. But what if you're traveling? How does the app work? Great question. So if you head to publicsq.com, you'll see that there's an Apple Store link. So an App Store. There's also an Android for the Google Play Store. Um, or you can just use it right there on the web. So you can either download the app on Apple, on iOS, you can download it on Android, on Google Play, or you can just sign in right there at publicsq.com. Once you're dropped into the experience, you're going to see a shop online tab. That shop online tab is your online directory of thousands of businesses that will serve you no matter where you are in the country. And again, there's a myriad of different industries that you can scroll down and you'll see. You can search by category. There's also a handy search bar there for you so you can refine what you're looking for more uh, detailed. And then there's a shop on, a local tab. So there's shop online right when you enter. And then there's shop local right next to it. And this shop local tab has a map and some pins on the map that showcase all the businesses in your local area or where you happen to be at that moment. So, for example, if you'd like to turn on location settings, you can actually travel to a new city. You can go to Boston and you'll see all the businesses in Boston that are a part of the public square experience. Or you can have your home zip code. Basically, you don't give us your address or anything, but you can have your home zip code basically refine uh, your local square is what we call it. And that'll show you all the businesses near you. So we want this to certainly be something that supports both the local and the online businesses so that no matter where you are in the country, whether you live in a very dense um, suburban area or you live in a pretty, um, you know, s scarcely populated rural area, you have opportunities um, at every single point of your experience. The last thing I'll mention too is that there's a great opportunity to connect with other consumers and businesses in a social environment on the platform through our groups feature. So you can actually join groups, talk about different products, made in the USA, services. You can talk about farming in your front yard, self-sustainability. I mean, there's a lot of really cool sort of economic geared groups that you can join on the platform as well. 
Man, that is great news. You know, we get lots of questions about where to shop and, you know, which products, you know, we'll, we'll have people call and say, is there a, a biblically responsible cell phone provider or, you know, different things like that. And I think this is a great service. We are um, so grateful for what you are doing in helping to fight this wokeism that we're seeing in corporate America. Well, I hope that our listeners will go to your, and I'm going to get you to say it again, how, how we find it, but I hope they will go there. They will download the, the app. They will start to um, take a look at what you're doing. So tell us again exactly where to go to, to get the app. Would love to. PublicSQ.com. So if you go to www.publicsq.com, that's the best place to get started. It'll take you to the sign-in page, the App Store, or Google Play. And we'd love it if you'd join us on the journey. And and Michael, you're in California, aren't you? Yes. Play, pray for me, please. <laughs> well, folks, there it is. Proof that there is a remnant in California. So continue to pray for California that that remnant would grow um, and that we would help to fight the good fight. So check out publicsq.com. Get the app and find out what you can do to be a good steward of your patronage. 